when I pitch this jig out there uh, to these lay down logs, um, you know, I'm following my bait down and uh, I'm watching my line fall as, as the jig falls, I'm watching the line kind of feed out. When that line stops, either you're on a limb or a fish has come up underneath of it and picked it up, okay? So um, it's not all the time that you get slack in the line, you get a bag in your line. And you, the way you can detect whether that's a fish or not is to put a little pressure on your rod tip. Lift your rod tip up a little bit and see if you can feel that fish do a little wiggle or a movement on it. Then you know that you need to set the hook. If you pull up and your rod tip kind of bends and it, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier, usually you're over a limb or you're over a log and uh, it's, it's really not a fish. But about 50, 50, 50, you know, a lot of times it is a fish and a lot of times it's just a snag. But like I say, you can't fish scared. You gotta get down in that stuff. A lot of times you go down and you hit bottom and you get bag in your line, just pick it right back up about a foot and hold it. A lot of times you're right in that stuff and you wanna hold that that jig in there as long as you possibly can see if those fish will come up out of that stuff and hit it. Keeping it very simple fishing. You know some of these uh, you know jig combinations I myself I like to use a, uh, a marabou jig and some of these jigs can you know cost upwards of oh you know 50 cents to a dollar a piece and when you're bouncing around in this stuff you know you can lose quite a few baits. Um, you know, fishing this jig and this, uh, just this bear jig and a, a minnow combination is very affordable fishing. Um, crappie fishing isn't too hard on the average angler. Um, you know, these jigs run about five to 10 cents a piece and your, you know, your minnow. So if you do, you know, get it caught up, you break it off, it's, it's affordable fishing. Sometimes it don't take too much to fool these old crappie. When they're hungry, they're going to bite it. Multiple casts to this stuff, you know. One cast, one cast is not going to be able to, to uh, tell you where the fish are on this structure. A lot of times, you know, you have to, you know, throw to the right, the left, dead center of it. Um, you know, not being in a hurry. The water temperatures right now are falling, the fish are getting colder, so their digestion rate and uh, uh, the way that they process the food that they eat is slowing down. So, you know, a lot of times these fish, they're not really uh, real aggressive this time of the year. Now, if we had some sun and uh, the temperatures were gonna rise a couple of degrees today, um, these fish will just get more and more active as the day goes on. But we don't have that luxury today. We're not seeing much sun here this morning. So it's taken a little while for the, uh, for the water to kind of warm up. A lot of times, you know, you get out here early in the morning and the water's, you know, say about 52 or 53 degrees. And then you get a little sunshine and you'll start seeing the activity on the water um, will start picking up. Usually that kind of clues you in that uh, a lot of times, you know, the fish, the bait fish are getting active. So in return, the crop, oh, we didn't have uh, that much going back in there. So we came out to the dam out here and we're fishing this bluff out here, uh, just to the right of the dam.
these bluffs and uh, you know we're catching uh, some uh, pretty quality black crappie right now um, nice and thick across the back and uh, you know good 10 inch fish good eating fish 